हरे कृष्णा सरकमस्टेंशियल एंगजाइटी कैन बी एड्रेस्ड मटीरियली बट एग्जिस्टेंशियल एंगजाइटी नीड्स टू बी एड्रेस्ड स्पिरिचुअली वी लिव इन एन एज ऑफ इनक्रीजिंग एंगजाइटीज एंगजाइटी रिलेटेड डिसऑर्डर्स आर ड्रैगिंग मोर एंड मोर पीपल टू साइकोलॉजिस्ट एंड साइकियाट्रिस्ट एंड वी ऑफन ट्राई टू इनक्रीज सिक्योरिटी मेजर्स बी एट लाइफ इंश्योरेंस हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस कार इंश्योरेंस होम इंश्योरेंस टू ट्राई टू डिक्रीज आर एंगजाइटीज बाई डीलिंग विद एंगजाइटीज वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट they have to be addressed at different levels some of our anxieties are circumstantial say if we want to catch a flight and we are not sure whether we will reach in time for the flight we will be anxious so this circumstance can be addressed materially by planning well and starting off well in time paradoxically however especially in the western world or in the first world at large where circumstances are much more reliable or controllable for people where the anxieties about sudden untoward circumstances occurring such as power going off or water supply not coming or people driving wi- driving wildly on roads is much lesser still anxiety levels are enormously high so if circumstances are being controlled then why are our anxiety is going out of control because there is a deeper level of anxiety that goes beyond the circumstantial to the existential existential anxiety means that we at a deep level fear whether our very existence counts at all we exist in this world under the shadow of non existence just one bug or one bang can end our life in one unappealable moment and when we hear in today's world of so many people being killed in different parts of the world and especially when we have adopted as most of the world has done today a materialistic world view then our life has no meaning beyond this existence so our existence itself doesn't count we are simply bags of biochemicals come alive for some time flapping around only to fall eventually and when we see, seek worldly pleasures as life's goal and when we feel those pleasures are uh, either achievable or non-achievable but are ultimately going to be lost we start worrying what does it count at all so krishna says in the bhagavad gita 16.11 that anxiety is intrinsic to the materialistic world view चिंताम परिमेयाम च प्रलयांताम उपाश्रितः कामोपभोग परमा एतावदिति निश्चितः द 16.11 स्टेट्स दैट चिंता एंजाइटी इज इमेजरेबल एंड इंटरमिनेबल टिल द मोमेंट ऑफ डेथ फॉर दोस हु थिंक दैट मैटर इज ऑल दैट मैटर्स मटेरियल प्लेजर्स आर द ओनली प्लेजर्स दैट काउंट so this existential anxiety needs to be addressed spiritually by gaining spiritual knowledge and spiritual realization when we study the bhagavad gita and follow the bhagavad gita's guideline to practice yoga especially bhakti yoga then we understand that we are at our core souls who are parts of the whole krishna and we are on a multi lifetime journey of spiritual evolution so even if this life ends suddenly that is not the termination of our existence and even when abrupt things happen in this world krishna is ultimately in control and he will bring good out of the bad when our consciousness thus becomes rooted in spiritual understanding 
and understanding our eternality and understanding Krishna's omnibenevolence, then our ex existential anxiety is addressed. And thereafter, we can deal with circumstantial anxieties without getting too disturbed by them. That is both beyond this world and in this world, spiritual growth can help us to deal with anxiety most effectively. Thank you. Hare Krishna.